like to talk you through some features of this giant rotary quern stone that's been commissioned by an ancient working farm with a bakery and it's based on Iron Age pancake querns which were normally typically smaller but this one's um, a particularly large one and it is quite difficult to get the thing going and to start it so I'll, I'll illustrate that in a minute but some of the features that this one has got are as follows it's made from Derbyshire millstone grit which is particularly abrasive and the top stone or the runner stone has a concave surface to it and is roughly tool finished and the bottom stone the bed stone has a convex surface to it with these furrows which are called harp marks and they help to drive the processed grain away from the middle towards the edges where it can be collected so what i'm going to do now is to assemble it and as you can probably imagine it's very heavy and because the stone is so abrasive the friction is such that it can't really be turned unless it has a lubricant and in this case we're going to use the dry corn itself almost as ball bearings to try and get it spinning and when it is spinning and it's fed in with enough corn it should carry on turning relatively easily so let's see what happens so i'm going to place the very carefully without trapping my fingers i'm going to place the runner stone back on the bed and then I'm going to insert the handle, which is a piece of oak, and I'm going to start feeding with this. This is dried spelt, and I'm going to start feeding this quernstone. Now, it might take quite a lot of grain to get it going, so what I'm going to do now is called bump it, which is basically where I'm going to put the grain over there, where I lift the, the runner stone just enough to get some of the grain going down into the and it's already getting easier but down into, into that cavity uh, in an attempt to as I say create almost ball bearings which will help the stone to get established and turn it let's give it another bump That's it. right as you can see starting to get easier but it does take quite a lot of grain because the heart marks are quite deep. Let's just get some more grain on there. Let's see if we can give it another bump. And there we are. We'll get some more grain to be fed in there. You'll see that it starts to, to flush the grain in. Grain will then start filling up the heart marks and then the, thing, the stone will actually be ready to start processing grain. a little bit of grain just enough to get the thing working and what you find is that when you first start processing the grain it is quite rough but as the quern gets full and it starts to flush out the processed grain it tends to get much finer I'm just going to lift up the uh, runner to see what it's like underneath to see those marks full of full of processed grain you just have to watch your fingers down so there you can see what's happening in the middle it's not processed at all but as you go out to the outside if i just run my finger in that furrow you can see the very fine flour and obviously it's a process where refeeding it back in can also help to get that consistency much better but that's essentially coarse whole grain flour that we're used to <laughs> 